are, you know, finally having our studio tour. So I guess this has been, the, you know, the most awaited video of all time. So my apologies for that, you know, uploading this video late. But that doesn't matter. Our, you know, uh, studio is way better than it was before. So without any further ado, let's roll the beat roll. Alright guys, so now as we enter from our entrance, we are directly introduced to my studio but at first what do we need to do is remove our shoes over there as you guys can see I have placed a cloth over there so I had actually placed this thing over there uh, but it didn't turn out to be working that great so I you know just kept a, a piece of cloth above it so now it's working great so why did I did that basically it's rainy season and I don't want my you know studio to be having you know lots of dust particles or you know water going around here so I have cleaned everything over here so that's why I literally don't want to you know litter this place so that's why I have kept those clothes over there so that you know my clients or you know any friends family who all you know come over here to hang out you know can wipe the shoes and just beside it there's this shoe rack over there they can you know keep the shoes slippers or anything like that and at the top rack I have you know used my brain as you guys can see there's this electric sockets so I have you know placed a newspaper over there so that you know they can you know if they want to you know charge the phones you know they can straightly charge up their phones so over here as you guys can see I have this you know empty hallway as we enter to my studio so basically what this is is actually I want to you know have this as a little bit like a guest room over here I have to you know install a small lounge or you know big sofas and you know small coffee table over there you know I can sit with my clients my friends my family you know and having chat about the future projects which we are going to do or not so you know I literally want to install over here like those things and back there at the wall you guys only see a blue uh, styrofoam or something like that which is stuck to the wall so I just want to you know remove that also and install a you know big showcase over there you know where I can you know store my camera gears you know separately and things like that so yeah I literally want to install those things over here so anyway that's it for this section now over there that's the kitchen and why I have restricted that we are gonna be talking about in a while so let's get on to the main studio what do we have behind me is my studio office or whatever you guys would like to call it all right guys so now let's get on with the first thing and the first thing is that table up there so guys this is my table over here basically this table is actually for you know reading books and doing some of my other works over here or basically you guys can describe this as a thinking station and also guys this table has got two works to do one uh, one we have already discussed about and secondly we have is the main camera angle so which we are going to come back to it in a while so this table is really old as you guys can see by the looks over here as you guys can see i have attached my microphone over there and yeah guys so basically we don't have a lot to talk about this table but one thing which I actually like about this table is the ledge which is you know present at the bottom so what it does is you know it acts like a food support like where I can keep my food while I'm you know doing all of my work so it's you know kind of really good you know it's homemade not purchased so that's why it looks ridiculous all right hope that you guys can see me properly Right, so basically what this section actually is like this is the place where I keep all my books and you know camera stuff and all my computer stuff is you know situated right over here. So I actually wanted to have a properly organized studio and so I did. So I have all of this you know bucket thing over here like which holds all of this you know grooming and you know all of this stuff over here and uh, the things which I don't need or you know the things which have you know just broken down you know stays over here at this thing and you know basically my laptops my you know all of the you know PC gears and all you know stays right over here so yeah those are the things uh, which you know stays over here and basically there's not much going on around here so yeah that's it you know I really found a good way in order to you know, organize my room and all so that you know whenever I go looking for a certain thing it's available to me in no time like I you know shouldn't be you know finding it all around here and then like getting panicked and all like where is it 
know, I, I just, you know, I'm tired of that, so I, you know, organized everything right over it again. So it took a little bit amount of time, but time taken is going to totally work out in the future. So for this, I literally had to, you know, take off my camera from my tripod. So anyway, let's talk about this section over here. So actually this rack isn't supposed to be here but you know as my studio is you know kind of empty so i you know decided to put this thing right over here at the corner so what it holds is my extra camera bag the stock camera bag uh, which comes with every canon camera over there there's the you know type of duster which dust of dust and over here my seats i think it's empty yeah it's empty Let's just keep it side. So over here, the main camera bag. So uh, this morning I woke up and I just found out that this camera bag fully covered in dust or let's say fungus. So yeah, that's, uh, you know, I really gonna need to clean this up. All right, so at the bottom, what do we have here is the, my, all right, so over here we have my, you know, Gorilla board and all the you know, electronics things and like windows software you know thing and all so you guys cannot see that because it's right at the bottom so that's why you guys aren't able to see so those are the things over here now i actually want to have a separate box for my camera gears and you know all so that thing we are gonna you know make it now but first let's clean this camera back up So now that's do it for now and it's you know looking kind of clean now so I guess what goes it is basically as there's only rainfall nowadays in the rainy season obviously there will be only be rainfall uh, at your place so yeah that's why you know due to humidity and constant rain and you know there's no sun at all so that you know I can put this at sun so that you need know, all the moisture would leave this bag so it isn't possible during the rain season although the rain season is like over here it's, it's like a summer season but you know it doesn't work out that way so yeah that caused it to you know just rot at us the place so now talking about my camera gears so the camera gears is all present inside over here my lens my you know uh, uv filter of this uh, camera so everything is situated down here so, all right guys so now let's you know make this you know separate section for my camera gears all right guys so now what i'm currently doing is i'm going to sit everything was here you know to this because i want uh, my camera gears to be you know, a bit safer right so looks a bit more organized, right guys? So yeah, let's just keep it in place. This will go right here. Earlier I was talking about this restricted section. This is my kitchen. So I'm going to show you what's going out over here. Whew. Dark and gloomy. Here as you guys can see. Alright guys, so now we are over here at my editing setup. So now the setup is the same old setup. I haven't changed it a bit, but the only thing which I had to replace was hard disk over SSD because my hard disk crashed, which also caused a data loss. If you guys have watched the previous video, link is down in the description box below. You guys can check it out. As the setup is same, the same old Acer 82 series monitor. The operating system is same, Windows 10 Home. The Pro programs are same so there isn't much going on out here but this you know this one thing which is going around new over here so what is that is I have successfully launched my own web store or you know digital market over which you guys can you know find my photographs my LUT files and all the other new stuffs are gonna you know be added uh, sooner and you guys can head over there and you guys can you know purchase my LUTs my photographs and everything related to photography and videography all right guys so make sure that you guys head over to my store the first link in the description box is the link 
which will lead you to my store and just a little bit of downside you know, I'm still facing a problem with my bank account so that's why I haven't uploaded uh, you know bad thing to my you know store which is why you guys see that the provider hasn't you know attached the PayPal or Stripe account here so that's why you know you guys won't be able to purchase it even though it's free so what I've done is I have added some preview over there you guys can download it that preview files and you guys can still use them good quality files yep you guys can also find some free stuffs over there at my store you guys can also get some you know certain update which you guys won't get on my you know both platform YouTube and Instagram basically I'm on on the present there now I have my own store so most of the times I'm over here so and also that we are you know updating most of the times like on day to day basis like we are trying to improve and improve like trying out new things over here so you have guys make sure that you guys head over to the first link in the description box below and check out my store it's all new and hopefully you guys like it and like if you guys don't like anything about the store you guys can obviously contact me at the contact us section over there or you guys you know directly can come back to this video and comment down below what you don't like about my store and what you guys want me to add more and more and i also wanted to add tons of many different photos but unfortunate enough as my you know hard disk crashed so basically the photographs which i lost were you know really precious to me so guys please help me if you guys know you know around us like is there any data recovery center so that would be a lot and a ton of help so yep guys the last thing which is left to talk about is over here over here over here as you guys can see the wall i have you know just finished painting out so the wall looks really great and uh, i hope that you guys you know really like the pattern over you know over there you know which i just drew on my wall so it was really hard in the previous video i have already discussed like how i did it it was really hard in order to do it alone so hopefully you know you liked it it was you know though it was hard i managed to do so it took me a few hours to do it and it's looking good over there is my you know, custom youtube click and click yeah click we call it click i still don't know the pronunciation yeah all right so over here i have a uh, flower base you know just to you know make a little bit of depth and yeah that's it guys yeah guys i hope that you guys enjoyed this today's video and last but not the least let's talk about my chair so my chair is basically simple chair like which is available in homes now you know i just use a uh, one pillow and one cushion in order to you know, comfort me more importantly i would like to you know rest my back over there because you know my back hurts a lot so yeah in order to avoid that you know i keep a pillow behind my back so that helps a lot all right guys i hope that you guys enjoyed this to this video make sure that you guys hit the subscribe button like button and share button and new contents are gonna drop out soon and make sure that you guys head over to my store over here and you know check it out and you know also you know comment down below guys uh what are the changes do you guys think i need it so let's wrap up this to this video right here with the slogan we can be positive peace